White Sox have Eric Fetty on the mound. Eric Fetty out for his 17th start, looking for his sixth win with an ERA just over three. Shohei Otani stepping in the batter's box. Shohei's numbers really incredible across the board. A 320 average to lead the league. 24 home runs. That does lead the National League, and he is now fourth in RBIs in the National League as well. RBI in nine consecutive games for Otani, tied for the franchise record. The payoff pitch swung on and well hit to right field. This ball's back. It is gone. A home run. The marvelous one. Shohei Otani has done it again. For the second night in a row, a leadoff home run. And Shohei Otani has just set a Dodger franchise record with RBIs in 10 straight games. In the history of the Dodger franchise, it's never been done until tonight. Jaw-dropping, awe-inspiring, night after night, Shohei Otani's 25th. There is as advertised, and then there is better than advertised. It's one nothing Dodgers. I mean, it's off the charts what this man is doing. Nice bounce back by Fetty. After giving up the home run, he gets the strikeout. Freddie Freeman over to the count. Just sticks out the bat, pokes it to short. And Diaz makes the play for the second out here. Swing and a hard one hopper. Good snag by Lopez over at second, and he'll flip the first for the out. And after a half inning in Chicago, it's the Dodgers one and the White Sox coming to bat. Gavin Stone, one year after he gave up 31 runs and 31 innings, is 8 and 2 with a 3 0 4. Pham sends a fly ball to right center field. Pajes. Oh boy, not a great angle, but he was able to reach up and pluck it. Nasty changeup. Two gone. Great pattern with the fastball up and in for the pitch prior to this changeup. And now it looks like it's down the middle and then buries away like a left handed slider. Swung on a missed strike three. Got him with a sinker and two strikeouts. Stone retires the side. One, two, three. Bottom of the second inning. It's Gavin Sheets against Gavin Stone. 3 2 is lined out toward the alleyway in right center. And it's going to get to the wall and sheets around seconds thinking three and now he'll hit the brakes and settle for a leadoff double. He's at second base. Nobody out. Let's bring him around. Runner at second for Paul DeYoung. There's a ground ball to first. Freddie's going to grab it. Long underhand toss timed well for out number two. Sheets advances from second to third. Corey Lee with two out. Gets under it. To left field for Tasker Hernandez, who hardly has to move. And the side retired. Top of the third inning. PK Hernandez will lead off. Strokes this one into right center field for a leadoff hit. Austin Barnes hits a chopper toward the middle. Diving stop by Lopez. Throw to second too late. Kike beat the force. And safe at first is Barnes. And the Dodgers have two on and nobody out for Otani. Four pitch walk to load the bases. So Hernandez, who struck out on a full count pitch his first time, comes up here with the bases juiced. Flies on the other way. Sheet steadies and makes the grab. Kike Hernandez heads for the plate. Throw goes to third. Barnes is in safely. Hernandez drives in Hernandez, and it's two to nothing. Freddie Freeman batting. First and third and one out. Freddie Freddie matchup on this 1-0. Freeman rips one to the right field corner. That's got extra bases written all over it. Barnes in to score. Otani's given the wave. Here he comes. Lopez won't try. Two-run double, Freddie Freeman. And three in the third for the Dodgers. 1-0 count here. Freddie Freeman gets a strike, an up changeup. Puts it in the corner. Gets himself some RBIs. Freeman's fourth hit of this series. His red-hot June continues. Getting close to 500 career doubles. If he's not at second base, something's wrong. Freeman just passed Otani for the club lead in doubles with 22. Top of the fourth inning, Gavin Lux will lead off for the Dodgers. They lead four to nothing. And he is out for looking. Change up on the outside corner. fetty has got three on the night. You know the trend for the Dodgers. If Miguel Rojas gets a hit, they are undefeated. Rojas into right center field, sealing the deal for a Dodger win. Trying to turn it into a double. Here's the throw from Sheets, not in time. Really good baseball right there out of Miguel Rojas. He's in scoring position, one out for Kike Hernandez. A squibber to the right side. The flip to Fetty for out number two. 
called strike three on a sinker. So they strand a runner at third. Bottom of the fifth inning, Gavin Stone back to work facing Andrew Vaughn. Back to a breaking pitch, this time the slider to strike him out. That's strikeout number four for Stone. Swinging a bloop out into shallow center and a base hit. Off the bat of Paul DeYoung. So that's just the second hit tonight for the White Sox. Nicky Lopez now with two outs. Strike three called a sword at the inside corner and Gavin Stone is through five scoreless innings on 56 pitches. Nicky really upset with Derek Thomas. Pedro Grafal thrown out of this game for arguing balls and strikes. He had been chirping and if he was trying to get a ticket out of here he has succeeded and you wouldn't blame him. He might have been protecting Nicky Lopez who is really livid. Corey Jolks now in right for Gavin Sheets. Left the game with a heel injury. Strike three called. Pajes wasn't happy, but it looked like it was on the corner. That ball actually came came back. Good late movement on it. It's a two-seam fastball, and normally they will come back if you throw them on the outside corner. Popped up, and Fetty's going to make the catch. As Fetty has retired eight straight. Eric Fetty went six innings, gave up Four runs on five hits, one walk, five strikeouts. New pitcher for the Sox, Michael Soroka, here in the seventh. The pitch, Rojas lays down a bunt. He's got a bunt single to open up this seventh inning. And he got it done with the strikeout of Kike Hernandez. And he just struck out Barnes looking. So back to back K's. Swing and a miss, strike three. Soroka strands a couple. Three strikeouts in the inning. Bottom of the seventh inning, and Gavin Stone, this might be one of his most, if not the most, efficient major league outing. Strikes out Robert on three pitches. Well, he's one shy of matching his season high, which he had last week in Colorado. That's six on the night. 2-2, two, two, slider, swing, and a miss, strike three. Strikeout number seven for Gavin Stone. He retires the side in order in the bottom of the seventh. Top of the eighth inning, Soroka in his second relief inning. And strike three, four strikeouts now for Soroka. Did he go around? Yes, he did, says Laz Diaz. Five strikeouts for Soroka in two innings of relief. Gavin Stone out there in the eighth. He hasn't pitched this far in a game before. Stone this close to putting his name alongside Tyler Glass now and Yoshinobu Yamamoto. Dodger starters this season to complete eight innings. With an 0-2 to Lopez. Carved to left. Hernandez there. Eight scoreless innings for Gavin Stone. Within his reach is the first complete game by a Dodger in two years. Been a great outing for Michael Soroka since coming on in the seventh inning. Slider and Soroka's got his good stuff going tonight. Swing and a miss, strike three. That's a seven strikeout performance for Soroka in just three innings. Here comes the pride of Lake City, Arkansas, going for a complete game victory. Gavin Stone will pitch in the bottom of the night. Only three base runners against him tonight. Straight up for the first out of the ninth inning as Kike Hernandez settles under it. And he's two outs away from going the distance. 99th pitch of the game is an 0-2 to Fan. It's into left center field and a base hit. 1-0 pitch swung on and lifted in the air to center field. Easy play for Andy Pajes. And that is out number two in the bottom of the ninth. One out to get for Gavin Stone. Boy, what a night. This young man has been absolutely sensational on the mound. And it's Luis Robert Jr. Bouncing ball towards the middle. Lux is there. Long throw and a complete game. Gavin Stone goes the distance in an era when nobody does. A complete game shutout for Stone. The very first of his major league career. He is the first Dodger rookie to throw a shutout since 2013. Hunjin Ryu did it. And the first Dodger to have a complete game shutout of any kind since April 25th, 2022. He scatters four hits in the ball game. An absolutely wonderful performance by Gavin Stone. His best as a big leaguer. Unbelievable work tonight for Gavin Stone.